I decided to make a separate little video here that will just talk about the tag analyzer. So the tag analyzer tool is accessed, accessible through the product search at the very bottom here. You'll see analyzed. You've got um, analyzed product tags here, as well as in the shop analyzer, you have the analyzed product tags here as well. So let's just start in the product search. And the purpose of the tag analyzer is to analyze the tags that are given for each product. Now, in Etsy, Etsy allows you to use up to, I believe it is 13 tags to enter into your listing. And these tags are kind of like the lifeblood of how to get traffic on Etsy. Now, you may not have a shop on Etsy and you're just using this software to research for your own e-commerce business. That's cool. But you, being able to analyze what these tags are is very important because these tags are not just any ordinary tags. This is how basically Etsy looks at these tags in listings and they use these tags in order to show your listings in the results when people search on Etsy. So this is, like I said, the lifeblood. And these are so important. So people have gone to great extent, I mean massive extent, to find the perfect tags in order they, so that their products will show up really high in the search results on Etsy. So they've already done the research and I've provided a tool that can help you further analyze that incredible research that everyone's already done for you. So when you've done your searching and, and found your products and whatnot in the product search tool here, you'll get all, this, all these results. Now what you can do is you can start analyzing these tags. So you can just analyze all of them or you can just the ones you want to look at. You just select the rows that you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of them. Of course, you may have other ideas, like say you have 2,000 items in here and you wanna only look at ones that have a certain price, um, have a high rating, more reviews, things like that. But for example purposes, I'm just gonna select them all. Now you go analyze and analyze product tags. And here's the tag analyzer tool. So what it's doing, it goes out and it finds all the tags and then it finds the number of times that a particular tag has occurred in the listings that we selected here. And you can see it occurred 23 times, nearly 50%, so 47.9% of the listings contained the word t-shirts dash shirts and this tells you how many hearts per tag the average hearts per tag so on a given product over here you'll see that you'll get this product got 98 hearts now if this particular tag t-shirt was actually in the tag list in here for that product then that number of hearts per tag will be taken in consideration. So it gives you an idea of sort of how valuable an actual tag can be. So you can see here, what you want to do is you look at tags that occur quite a bit, that have a high um, average hearts per tag. So you look at like this one here, six times, 52 hearts per tag, obviously shirt you think would be a good, a good word to have. Obviously that's what it's proving here. Graphic tees, seems to be another one that's very popular in here because it has 140 hearts per tag. It only showed five times, but still, it shows promise that it could be a really good tag to use or a keyword to use in your marketing. And you also have the options to search in here if you want to search for different um, filters, just like before. So as you search there, you can, as you type, it'll search real time. So you have those options as well. And you can go ahead and you can save this to a data file, CSV. You save the tags to CSV and text. You can copy all the tags, copy selected tags. You got all sorts of stuff you can do here. And same when you right click, you got all that access to that stuff as well. Another place you can use the tags, as I mentioned, is over in the shop analyzer. It comes very useful in here as well. So. In the shop analyzer, if you haven't watched the other video yet, just go ahead and watch that to understand how to use it. But I'm just gonna jump right in. And I've already analyzed a particular shop here that had um, 564 listings and 20 shop sections. And in here, you can group by the shop sections. So now we can see each section and some uh, average information about. So you got the average price of all the items in this particular section. There's 40 items in this section, the birthday boy shirts the average rating, the average hearts. So now we have 
all this valuable information but what's really interesting is say you know you're selling uh, print on demand shirts online and you want to look at more um, examples for or more research so let's take a look and research this particular section so just click in there it'll automatically select all the items within that section and now we can go analyze the product tags now for that particular section now we can see the top tags in that section these, this one here, birthday shirt, occurred 29 times. 70, almost 75 percent of the listings contain that tag. How many hearts per tag? So the same as before, but now it becomes very valuable because now you can actually start to analyze individual sections of a shop. This is very hard to do manually, and in here it's so quick and so easy. And of course, you can ungroup and you can select all the tags of the entire shop, and then you can analyze everything. As you can see here, there was uh, a lot of sections. There's 564 products, 20 sections. Funny Kids shirt occurred 181 times. 32% of the time uh, of the listings contain that actual tag. So now you can really pinpoint. And as I mentioned before, you know this shop owner probably went to great extents. To, to a great extent, trying to figure out what is the best tags that's going to bring the most traffic and money to their shop. So they've done the research. Now we're uncovering the top tags that they already researched. This data is more valuable than you can ever imagine. And so this is what this tool will uncover for you. And if you're doing this research for clients, you can deliver this information to them by a common delimited file. So again, this is absolutely valuable information. And that's how you use the title analyzer, sort of the, the tag analyzer within the Craft Inspector software.